Well, I hope you enjoyed that start to finish process of this project. This project and my next upcoming design team project, I'm actually making a gift for uh, two different crafting friends of mine who are going through some medical issues right now. And I just wanted to make something a little bit inspirational to brighten each of their days. I don't know who's going to end up with which project. I'm going to wait till my next one and get that finished and then just kind of figure out where my heart leads me on who should get which which one. Um, so this particular project, you saw me start with a kind of double butterfly chipboard piece. I had purchased that at Walmart uh, last year, I think, uh, around Easter, springtime, that kind of thing. Um, and I knew I wanted to kind of make a wall hanging or a layout out of it. Um, and so what I did, what how I started, um, first off, let's start with the papers. So I used pulled out some old um, but beautiful papers from Graphic 45, uh, Botanical Tea, and then also a paper from Secret Garden. Uh, and I chose that for a reason, and I'll try and remember to bring that up in just a minute. And then I also used this pink stripe here. This is actually from Prima, the Heaven Sent 2 collection. Uh, Renee carries this in her shop. Now, even though this Heaven Sent collection is, is kind of baby-themed, the side B of most of the collection, because it's double-sided, side A and side B, are more just kind of stripes and polka dots and plain designs where the flip side is geared for babies. So even if you don't have children like I myself don't have children, and I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I don't have children because I had cancer and all my female bits got taken out. <laughs> so as I joke, we have a cat. Um, anyway, you can still use the beautiful B sides of the collections and then they come in beautiful pastel colors. So that's what I did here uh, and I just love it. So anyway, the way I started is I, of course, just easily enough trace the outer edge of that butterfly okay for the first piece and then I wanted to use like three four different sheets of paper because I just loved how all the patterns kind of went together so I traced that first sheet like I said and then I retraced it again on like a scrap piece of paper and then I went in on that and I kind of made marks little marks I used a ruler and went about a half inch in and I made little dots kind of far apart all the way around that first sheet of paper. And then I kind of traced um, or actually kind of drew a line through those dots around the paper to get my next butterfly shape about half an inch in. So you understand what I'm saying? I kind of did this and then I measured about a half inch around, made little marks, and then just kind of freehanded the butterfly shape through those marks to get my next one a half an inch in. And then I did the same process again to go to the next uh sheet of paper a half an inch in and then of course the middle sheet was very easy because it was the uh, second smaller chipboard piece of that butterfly now let me flip this over for just a second you saw me um, I had glued this piece of paper on the back and then you saw me put just a plain piece of chipboard in the center. What I did is since that bigger piece kind of had a cutout in the center, I used that and I center and I just traced that onto some chipboard and then I cut that out so that I could just kind of very tightly squeeze it into the middle so that I didn't kind of have a hollow area on the inside when I glued all my papers down front and back, okay? So that's how all my papers and the shapes um, came about being able to go quarter inch in. Okay, so let's just kind of take a peek at this up close here for a minute. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, because I wanted it to kind of look like a layout, but like, uh, you know, be a wall hanging. Or they could choose to put it in like an easel frame and just kind of have it sit up. I'll include just a little, I have like, I have a silver one I'll show you. It's kind of to the side. But just one of these. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of, you know, clip it right in the center. A silver one. I might paint it white. And then they can just hang it on the wall like that. Or like I said, an easel would be very pretty. Maybe sitting up on their desk. Okay, my inspiration for this piece, what I wanted to focus on was this really 
cute, beautiful board piece from Renee's shop. This is Junie B. Darling. She's the printed beautiful board die cut. Uh, she is from the Garden Party Collection. There are lots of different um, pieces that go in this Garden Party Collection. Uh, and so I wanted to focus on her. She has butterflies for wings. She actually come, it's, comes, it's like a four-piece set. You get two of her, and then you get two of the smaller uh, butterflies with it. And they come in either a small set or a large set. She is the large. She's four and a half feet. Uh, four and a half feet. Oh, my gosh, that would be gigantic. Four and a half inches uh, in length. And... So you can get her, like I said, with the two butterflies, two of her two butterflies. And then there's also an additional set that you can purchase that has uh, four of the just butterflies. And they are called the Junies Butterflies. Okay, set of four Junies Butterflies. And what I did is since her wings were butterflies, I really wanted to make them look really dimensional. So I piled or layered two additional butterflies right on top in front of her, kind of covered her um, chest area up a little bit just to really give that dimension of butterflies coming up. And then I still wanted to have like some angel's wings behind her. So I have some die cuts here from, you know, I should have looked that up, some wings that I have some uh, dies and their wing dies and so I cut a couple of those out in some really thick white uh, cardstock and layered them behind her as well so she kind of has butterfly wings and angel wings right behind her so she is my inspiration in the center um, and I'll just keep finishing with her and then on top of those layered butterflies this is a Rene Bouquet's beautiful board clock hand uh, this is in the medium size I believe and they come in a set of six and you get small medium large or extra large and I just wanted like a clock hand on her to just give a little bit of whimsy and to kind of represent time and in hanging from that let me change hands here. My left shoulder doesn't want to quite handle that right now. Um, and hanging from that, this is just a necklace charm uh, that I got at Michael's in my stash and it says faith on it. Okay. Um, because I know both of these women have a lot of faith. So I just kind of wanted to represent that inspirational kind of faith there. And she is so cute. She's holding a little basket of flowers down here. Just darling apropos name for her, Junie B. Darling. It's perfect. Renee did an excellent job on her. She is just gorgeous in blues. And I wanted to kind of use blues and pinks together, and I think I did that okay. And so let me stray for just a minute the secret or the secret garden paper right here that I used on that second butterfly. Uh, from Graphic 45 Old Collection. I wanted to use that not only because it matched her very nicely, but also because it said Secret Garden, and I wanted that to kind of in turn go with the name of the Garden Party collection that Renee has with this beautiful board uh, treasures here. So that's why I wanted to particularly lose, use that paper because I thought, you know, Secret Garden and Garden Party, I just, just thought it went together really cutely. So that was why I used that paper. Long story longer. <laughs> um, so I had distressed, off camera, I distressed all my paper edges. I sewn all the edges, layered them on, and then you saw me use a couple. So we're going to back up, uh, kind of go back to the bottom here. I used, saw me use a couple of stencils, and the word stencil I thought was really pretty. It was just a real faithful stencil, said like hope and joy and faith, that kind of thing. And that was a Heidi Swap stencil I got. And then the other one was a Prima stencil that I had used. And I used Ranger Texture Paste Crackle, Opaque Crackle. Renee carries this in her shop. Love it. It worked great. The crackling was just awesome. Let me bring it up and show you. Look at that crackle. Can you just see that? Look how awesome that crackles. And the minute you start to see it crackle, you can use your heat tool and speed up the process. So I waited probably 15, look at that crackle, probably 15, 20 minutes, allowed it to start to crackle. Then I used the heat tool and finished up the process. I think that just 
excellent, excellent crackle on there. Again, you can kind of see it right down in here. Oh, just, just heavenly crackle. Um, anyway, so I did that, and then I wanted to use a couple of sprays. I wanted them really kind of uh, washed out, almost watercolor type sprays. I used uh, some from my collection. Um, I used the cotton candy from the Prima Color Bloom sprays. This is the cotton candy. Um, and Renee does carry some, she has a few left in her shop of the Color Bloom sprays. Uh, Lindy's Stamp Gang from my stash, and this is Whale Watch Blue. I thought that was the perfect blue. Um, and so what I did is I kind of spritzed it on there, and then I just used my uh, water brush and, you know, squeezed it and then was able to get it nice and watery and get it to really run and be kind of real liquefied and then just kind of dabbed up the excess because I didn't want it too uh, vibrant in color. I just kind of, like I said, wanted it kind of watercolory. So I just ran around uh, the project and... And I hope you can see some of the pink on there, um, some of the blues on there. And if it is kind of hard to see, don't worry. I will have pictures up on my blog as well as the Renee Bouquet's blog. But then you can see some of the color in there. So that worked really nicely. Um, when I was done with the project off camera, I went in with Color Bloom uh, Prima by Prima, the frost spray, also just out of my stash. And I just did some little splatters just around um, the perimeter. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. Just around the perimeter. There, this side you really can. Around the perimeter of the butterfly just to give it a little light, light texture. Okay, so let's see. Did the stenciling, laid the uh, other butterfly kind of on top, and then I just kind of started layering with some um, things that I had in my stash. I had this old kind of tablecloth that I tore up this kind of crochet uh, tablecloth that I have and I just rip pieces off of it so I layered that in there and then I just had some appliques out of my stash I layered in there I had some laces out of my stash that I kind of layered in there um, I also used some of Renee Bouquet's daisy chain lace I love this lace because I love to just cut it in half cut pieces of it and then tuck these flowers in and around my project and you can see some of that like right in here there's some of that daisy chain cute floral lace some down and around in here you can see some just poking out just little bits so cute so I layered that on um, and then I tucked in kind of in and around lace I used this beautiful board printed board. This is the cherry blossoms, the tuck it in cherry blossoms. You all know I love to use those. So I tucked it in up in here a little bit because that pink matched perfectly with that heaven scent collection from Prima. And I layered some in here and I layered some right down in here. Love, love, love this. I think I use it almost every project. I am not sick of it yet. And let me just show you a couple of pieces from it. When you get it, it comes in all sorts of different uh, shapes just like that, really vibrant. You also, I mean, you get some really large shapes. You also get just some little single um, flowers. Just awesome to tuck in and around your project. And the color is so vibrant on any of these uh, printed board, beautiful board pieces, uh, these die cuts, just love them. I kind of wanted to share that with you, so I was sure to find a spot on this project for this uh, beautiful board. Uh, tuck it in by cherry blossoms so not a problem there um, I laid down this great big beautiful board frame this is called the lacy heart frame some of these you can buy singly if you're just looking for one but they also come in a set of three uh, and this is my last one out of a set of three but what I love about these uh, lacy heart frames of course they come flat but you can actually just kind of bend them up a little bit and get some dimension on that project and it just stays wonderfully because of the thickness and the quality of that beautiful board so I love to use these frames when you can just raise them up just a little bit so I kind of layered that in there um, I also layered over here um, some of the quilling flourishes I love to use these because I'm a sucker for swirls uh, these are of course from Renee Bouquet's these are a set of four quilling flourishes I use the small ones, so just gorgeous. 
and they come of course in all different sizes so I tuck that right one right up here right kind of up above that uh, cherry blossom tuck in and then this one is right under the cherry blossom tuck in so I kind of tuck that in there um, and then I just had some die cuts uh, from some dies I had just these little kind of leafy vines I tucked one in there just to give it a really kind of light airy um, flow there and I got one tucked right down in here as well um, I have tucked in some Prima chipboard pieces these are from the Amelia Rose collection um, it comes with some you know all sorts of pieces in this chipboard collection so I popped out two frames to get a little dimension over here um, I used also from that collection this little piece here since we're on the chipboard it says life is beautiful and then also popped in this one here that says grateful heart I wanted to pop that in there since I used the lacy heart frame from beautiful board so grateful heart so that's why I use that um, this is a fun uh, chipboard collection this is it right here beautiful like uh, pinks and blacks you can play with kind of some uh, like almost like a vintage um, Kind of a vintage vanilla sort of color it's also got some kind of pink foil on it a little bit really pretty um, pieces to mess with this is where the frames came from so I still have two more frames I can work with birds and real beautiful butterflies those are foiled there as you can see so really neat collection from Amelia Rose Prima and Renee has that in her shop um, so I layered those in there. Um, I also layered a Prima resin frame. This is the large resin frame by Memory Hardware, uh, Frank Garcia. And this is the Blanc Fleur. It's a two-piece set. It has this large one and then a smaller identical frame um, that comes with it. So I used the larger frame, of course, in there. Um, and then I layered on top. This is a beautiful board piece here. This is the... Um, it comes in a set of three and it's the chain link frames and these are the smaller ones just chain link but then there's also where you can get a set of two um, chain link ones and they are the chunky chain link frames. so they're a lot bigger uh, chain link okay so this is the three piece set and this is the smaller of the three piece set in that frame I wanted to kind of put that behind Junie just to kind of uh, you know help also kind of set her off a little bit okay um, let's see let's cover this butterfly over here this is of course from Renee's shop this is Renee Bouquet's tiny treasures butterfly and these are called sweet as candy and they're just a beautiful uh, shade of pink really pretty and they've got silver antenna on them when you order uh, butterflies or tiny treasures butterflies you do get a choice of picking your color antenna and Renee's got four or five different uh, colors you can uh, choose from okay all right so let's go back to the center I told you about the little die cut wings I put on there let's move down here to kind of the floral section of this piece this is a beautiful chiffon flower from Renee's shop uh, these come in a set of three and they have little pearls and diamonds in the center and this is simply in the white shade I've got also mulberry flowers uh, from Renee's shop these pink ones, these come in a set of 13. They're roses and leaves, and they are the pink and white shade. She's got some that's a little bit darker pink, um, and then some that are a little bit lighter pink. Um, and these are kind of the lighter pink ones. And then these are the, this blue here is a beautiful dusty blue and named for that set of 13 roses and leaves in the dusty blue okay and then this flower here that I used also comes from Renee's shop this is from the Prima uh, collection um, Prima marketing and it's from the Rose Quartz collection and this is called Persian Marbleite and you get oh six different six different um, flowers in that collection and they do come with all that beautiful kind of glitter um, texture on them okay so Persian Marbleite from the Rose Quartz collection and it already was that textured um, on there 
Okay, um, let's see. And so over here, this is a Rene Bouquet trinket. Um, these are a set of five silver spoons, and she's got a, um, the silver and then like the antique bronze, and these, of course, like I said, are the silver. Um, these are Rene Bouquet's trinkets as well. These are the dream keys. And they say dream on them, really cute and tiny, just a couple of inches um, in length. These come in a set of four. I'd love to just kind of layer them on flowers, just as you see there. Um, down here in this corner, here's another beautiful board element piece that uh, I used on here. And this is the brick wall piece. And this is uh, the small size, I believe, that I used. Uh, let me see. Here we go these right here in the small and I just basically it comes like a one in landscape and in a, a bigger piece about that tall um, that comes in a portrait mode and I just literally cut that like in half so I could use a little actually in thirds I think so I could use just a little smidget of a piece right down there in that corner okay let's see this butterfly here, Tiny Treasures Butterfly, is Sweet Pea in White. Now, I have an older version of this butterfly. Uh, the newer versions, like I said, Sweet Pea in White, they come with a pearl, uh, three pearls uh, for detailing in the center. Okay, and mine don't have uh, the pearls on them. Like I said, mine's an older release here, but the newer ones come with little pearl detail in the center. Just makes them really cute. And again, I have the silver antenna. Okay, let me see. Make sure I got everything on here. Okay, I believe I did. So now let's finish off with all this beautiful... Um, texture you see right in here you saw me do a little bit of it and I've got some right in here you kind of see a little bit of a rose gold texture some beautiful diamond texture right in there as well around the project what I did is use my 3d matte gel as you saw I used some Rene Bouquet chunky glitter glass and this was in diamond so a diamond is just a clear all her glitter glasses do come in two sizes I just want you to know that this is the half ounce size so I put some of that on there and then the rose gold um, is the micro beads I've got mine out of the original container right here and these are no hole micro beads and you can see just how I'm almost afraid to put them in my hand how perfectly tiny those are look at that so they're just wonderful on projects because they are so stinking tiny um, that they just just kind of almost like just feather dust a little bit maybe some fairy dust a little bit of dusting on your project they're not too bold and that's that's what I like about them um, not too chunky and that's what I love um, and then I also just use some uh, glass beads that I had in my stash from uh, Prima right here just in crystal just some glass beads and then of course I pulled out and used uh, Prima mini art stones as well and these are just as tiny as uh, Renee's micro beads. Okay, um, and those are just from my stash, but I just wanted to show you those. So that's what I pulled out there, and that's what kind of you know I've got some glitter glass in the center of Junie here, and I've just got you know all that I what I did is I stuck my uh, paintbrush in my matte gel, and then I just stuck it into like at the same time into the mini art stones, and then maybe I stuck it into the uh, the micro beads, and then maybe a little bit of the glitter glass, and just like three or four of them on at once, and then just you know painted them onto my project. And then sometimes if I wanted a little bit more, I just kind to dump the glitter glass on top so that's how I got all this just beautiful texture going on around the project um, anyway so I like I said hope you enjoyed that project I think I covered everything here uh, I do encourage you to go to reneebouquets.com or reneebouquets Etsy site um, I will have the links all down below. Uh, there will also be a link to Renee Bouquet's Facebook page. Come like uh, her shop on Facebook. We do have uh, monthly challenges there and monthly swaps and all sorts of fun things you can do. And that's where you also get the first-hand peek of any new uh, items coming out to Renee's shop, especially in the beautiful board and the printed beautiful board project. Um, 
I do want to tell you, you might want to peek now. There is some new releases out in Renee's shop of a steampunk some wonderful gears and keys she's bringing out kind of a steampunk collection you know we've seen the garden party collection okay april and paris collection and i'm just going to bring my ipad in over here i wanted to kind of bring up the page and show you just and I know there's going to be a little glare, but just give you a little sneak peek of some of these wonderful steampunk gears and keys and things coming out. You know, she's always putting things out daily, but aren't those like awesome. I love them. Love them. Look at those keys. Yep. Steampunk style. Um, so you might want to come check some things out. Um, I also have a link down below to my blog and Pinterest where you can follow me along there. And of course, Renee McKay's blog where you can see my work and other artists work there that is on the design team. Please leave a comment below. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.